good morning all of you this is venkatesh today we are going to discuss about tangent response with sinusoidal excitations so we know we know already the dc excitation in the tangent responses so there we know that we see the we saw the simply rl circuit rc circuit and rlc circuit with the dc excitation so here also same but the source is different that source is used for ac source that is a simply vm sin omega t plus theta so where omega is angular frequency and theta is so phase angle and uh, it is a alternating quantity that is a vm sin omega t plus theta so here so here also we discuss so same uh, responses so but uh, same circuits that is a rl circuit rc circuit and rlc circuit with ac excitation so here the ac excitation so the first one is rc circuit so in the rc circuit with ac excitation the circuit diagram shown like this so that is v of t or c the time switch so here t equals to 0 at time t equals to 0 switch can move to the main position it is connected to the circuit when switch is t equals to 0 minus just before the close the switch so that is a it is a capacitor so the capacitor does not allow the sudden changes of voltages that's why v of 0 minus equals to 0 and the t equals to 0 plus so that means just after close the switch after close the switch so that is a t equals to 0 plus so at that time also the sudden changes of voltage so it is not allowed the not allowed so that's why the voltage is going to be zero that means the capacitor acts as a short circuit at the initial conditions so so here so in this circuit i am taking that rc so i am applying the kvl of this loop and i am writing the equation r i plus 1 by c integral of i dt equals to v of t equals to vm sin omega t plus theta so here the integration is there so for minimizing the integration i am using the differentiating on both sides so by differentiating on above equation i am getting or di by dt plus 1 by ci equals to vm cos omega t plus theta into omega so that means uh, d by dx of sin theta equals to cos theta that is like here so that is uh, di by dt plus 1 by rc into i equals to vm omega by r into cos omega t plus theta so this is the is first order differential equation in the first order differential equation so any type of differential equation with compare the first order differential equation dy by dx plus by equals to q of x the solution of this differential equation is the combination of complementary function and particular integral so here also we are writing the combination of particular integral and uh, complementary function so this complementary function is the transient solution and the particular integral is steady state solution so the complementary solution is nothing but so we find the roots so that roots may be real or non real or complex values so here we have a formula that is d plus 1 by rc into i equals to 0 so that is a root so here d equals to minus 1 by rc so it's a real root but negative value so that's why the solution of uh, complementary solution for the complementary function is c into e power alpha t that is alpha equals to minus 1 by rc that is a root so that is i am taking as this one and coming to the particular integral so this is nothing but steady state analysis so in this steady state analysis so it may get difficult to analyze this particular integral so here i am taking as one method for assuming the particular solution that is a ip equals to a cos omega t plus theta plus b sin omega t plus theta so here i am simply take that so this is the equation of current and the differentiation of above equation ip then i am getting like this like this a omega sin omega t plus theta plus b omega cos omega t plus theta then these two equations ip and dip by dt values are substituting in the equation of equation number 2 di by dt plus 1 by rc into i equals to vm by vm omega by r into cos omega t plus theta that is equation number 2 then i am getting the result like here i write like this right like this this equation like this so here i am taking common of sin omega t plus theta as one term cos omega t plus theta as another term that equals to l or hsi vm omega by r into 
cause will be negative plus theta and LHS and the RHS can compared here then compared here then I am getting simple the two formulas that is a uh, the two things that is a omega by comparing that above a minus a omega b b r c equals to zero and a by r c plus b omega equals to m by r so this is fifth equation this is sixth equation by solving the five and six so that means uh, from calculating from any value b that is substituting in another equation or from six to calculate any value substituting in another equation so then by solving the five and six I am getting the b equals to like this b equals to like this so how I am getting the b like this means so first I am substituting the b value this uh, a into omega rc is substituting in this uh, equation uh, 6 so in the equation 6 by calculated so finally I am getting a equals to vm by 1 by omega c plus omega r square c so after this value substituting in this equation a into b value so for calculating the b so i am getting like this so finally this a and b values both values substituting in the particular solution a cos omega t plus theta plus b sin omega t plus theta then i am getting like this equations vm by omega c r square plus 1 by omega c whole square cos omega t plus theta plus vm r by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square sin omega t plus theta like here so in these two equations so here take a common of same terms so i'm writing like this and uh, i'm simply write this equation as for impedance form that is a uh, uh, that is simply impedance form so impedance can discuss later so the impedance form so that is r square plus 1 by omega square c square whole force 1 by 2 so this is a uh, like here so this equation also like here so here i'm taking one simple triangle so that is a impedance triangle so that impedance triangle is nothing but on x it is a capacitor so the impedance of capacitor z equals to r plus r plus jx so it is a capacitor impedance so xc so xc is nothing but 1 by 2 pi fc in our uh, frequency coordinates so that's why it is a impedance term so it is a ac resistance so it is a vector form this vector form represents in this triangle that is r plus jx like here so like here i am writing r and 1 by omega c right here so 2 pi f is nothing but omega c so so this is right so from this equation cos pi equals to r by z sin pi equals to opposite side by quadrant that is uh, 1 by omega c by z so z equals to square root of r square plus 1 by omega c square so these all values substituting in here vm by z sin pi cos pi cos pi sin pi so here i am taking that cos pi value for for our analysis point of view we are taking that assumption cos pi and sin pi values like that okay it's clear so then so here so finally we are getting the term like uh, ic and uh, ip values so this IC and IP values combination with total solution that is C into E power T by T plus Vm by Z into sin omega T plus theta plus pi. So at time T equals to 0, I of 0 equals to initial current. That means the capacitor acts as a short circuit. That's why the current passing through the circuit is V by R. So V by R means what? v of t by r v of t is nothing but vm sin omega t by r so that is a uh, vm sin omega t t equals to zero that is a uh, vm by r into sin theta only so that's finally we can substitute here vm by r sin theta equals to c plus vm by z sin theta plus pi so c equals to like here and i of t equals to this vm sin theta vm by z sin theta plus pi into e power minus t by t plus vm by z sin omega t plus theta plus pi so here we are getting a one new term that is a impedance that is what impedance so this impedance is nothing but resistance in ac circuits that is it is a vector form so that means this impedance can write the complex form that is a combination of resistance and 
reactance value so the reactance is always perpendicular to the resistance value that's why we can draw the triangle we can take the r at on x axis the reactance is always drawn on the y axis that's why these two are perpendicular each other so take a right angle here right angle triangle so we know this right angle triangle trigonometric equations cos pi equals to cos pi equals to adjacent by quadrant and sin pi equals to opposite by quadrant that means what cos pi adjacent r by z and sin pi opposite x by z and similarly tan pi equals to sin pi by cos pi that is a uh, x by r so these all are we know we known in the early early stages that is intermediate section of the trigonometry so here the pi is a neutral that is a phase angle so phase angle is angle between the two uh, two things that is a resistor to reactants and then a magnitude it's a amplitude value that is calculated in the complex forms r square x square r square plus x square this is the rc circuit in ac excitation coming to second one is rl circuit with ac excitation this is also very similar to the same one it is also similar to the uh, rc circuit but so the circuit has shown figure that is a r and l are connected in series with a switch and connected to a source that is a ac source that is a v of t equals to vm sin omega t plus theta so apply the kvl of this loop apply the kvl of this loop and write the equation we are getting that di by dt plus r by l into i equals to vm by l sin omega t plus theta this is equation number two so that means from the equation kvl equation we get that equation that is the main equation so then here it is a switching operation the switch can close at time t equals to zero that's why here we have one energy storage element l what is the behavior of inductor under the before switch operation and after switching operation so whatever the inductor means the inductor acts as a open circuit at initial stages that's why the current passing through the inductor is zero at the early stages that is the t equals to zero minus and t equals to zero plus so here we get we know the equation that is a differential equation that is a di by differential equation has di by dt plus r by l into i equals to vm by l sin omega t plus theta so this is right as simply d plus so that means di by dt is uh, d by dt is taken as capital d in our mathematics so that means d plus r by l into i is equals to one simple equation so that's why d plus r by l into i equals to zero for the complementary solution so here d is the root that is minus r by l so this is a, a similar a normal uh, root that's why the real root so that's why i am taking as complementary function c some constant into e power alpha t that is a uh, e power minus alpha alpha value is minus r by l that is r by l into t so we know the time constant t equals to l by r t equals to l by r that's why i am writing minus t by capital t and coming to general solution second one is so another part of solution is particular integral solution or steady state part so for the steady state part so here again i am assuming the equation ip equals to a cos omega t plus theta plus b sin omega t plus theta and then so we have in the equation di by dt that's why again i am differentiating with respect to time so di p by dt equals to minus a omega sin omega t plus theta plus b omega cos omega t plus theta and here so these values substituting in the main equation number two then i am getting that minus a omega sin omega t plus theta plus b omega cos omega t plus theta plus r by l into a cos omega t plus theta plus b sin omega t plus theta equals to vm by l into sin omega t plus theta so here take a common of sin va sin of uh, omega t plus theta as one va un one value and plus cos omega t plus theta is another value that equals to rhs so by comparing that compare lhs and rhs values so 
here you get uh, minus a omega plus b r by l equals to vm by l and b omega plus a r by l equals to 0 these equations are 4 and 5 by solving the 4 and 5 equations like here so calculate the any one value so that value substituting in another equation then we get the equation value of any one value that is a that value is substituting in b value so then finally we get the b value this is the analysis is going on that is simply so first we can take any value that is a b or a so i am here taking fourth equation so from fourth equation i am taking a b in terms of a that value substituting in the fifth equation so finally i am getting the fifth equation in total values in terms of a that's why i am getting the a and that a value substituting in again b value so i am finally get the value of vm by r into 1 minus omega l whole square by omega l whole square plus r square so like here this equation this a and b values so substituting in the function substituting in the function so again ip equals to a cos omega t plus b sin omega t values so there we are getting that so take a common values take the common values and then so we get uh, uh, take the common values that is what ip equals to a cos omega t plus theta plus b sin omega t plus theta so then a value substituted here b value substituted here i am getting the ip like here again here also i am considering the impedance so it is a rl circuit so rl circuit means so impedance z equals to impedance z equals to r plus j xl so that is r plus xl is nothing but so 2 pi fl so xl is nothing but 2 pi fl so 2 pi f is nothing but omega so that's why i am writing it omega l here so r and j j is nothing but perpendicular axis that's why i am taking as omega l so that's why so coming to here cos pi pi is the phase angle so tangents of omega l by r so capital z is nothing but so impedance of the rl circuit so impedance is square root of r square plus omega l whole square that is a so count uh, magnitude of the impedance so z value and similarly sine pi and cos pi you can write the sine pi and cos pi value so that is what r by cos pi equals to r by z sine pi equals to wl by z so that values i am simply substituted here so there i am getting that substituted here so r by z and uh, sine pi z like that form i am calculated here so that's why here i am getting the terms uh, sine cos pi sine omega t plus pi theta minus sine pi cos omega t plus theta that means uh, sine a cos b minus cos a sine b equals to sine a minus b so from this formula sine a cos b minus cos a sine b equals to sine a minus b in the trigonometric functions so that's why i am using this formula and i calculate the values so then total response of any uh, differential equation is the combination of transient part that is nothing but complementary function and the steady state part is nothing but particular integral function so by adding though both we are getting the i of t equals to c in t power minus t by t plus vm by z into sine omega t plus theta by pi so at time t equals to 0 i of 0 equals to c plus vm by z into sine theta minus pi so t equals to 0 so here the under initial condition the current is 0 so that's why we can take a 0 value and calculate the c value that is substituting in the value equation i of t c in t power value like this so finally we are getting the equation this is the total response of rl circuit total response of rl circuit and next we can see that some next one more circuit or